everyone and welcome back to my channel. I'm Maury Crossing and today we're going to be making a giant greenhouse from Harry Potter, the Herbology area with Madame Sprout. Well, actually Madame Sprout won't be there, but you know the famous scene with the mandrakes where they have to pull them out of the uh, pots and repot them in something else? I'm going to be basically making that. I'm really excited to show you guys because it's was really fun to make and I'm really happy with how it turned out. Here we go! So I start off with choosing a type of flooring, whether or not I'm going to use the same one I used for Hogwarts or whether or not I use the stone or the dirt. I end up with the stone path and we skip a little bit here because you don't want to see a big block being done at once necessarily. So these parts are taken from a stream I did several weeks ago. Um, if you want to check that out, I will link it right here. And at first I just start putting things out, try and place things down because before the stream I really didn't plan much. I just got a few items I thought would work well. I knew that I wanted this type of plant to be the mandrakes because I looked through all the different pot plants and I just thought it was the closest I could find to what looks like a mandrake to me anyway. There are the starts that are in little pots but I just felt they weren't big enough to be mandrakes. They didn't give enough, not attitude, what's the word, <laughs> of an impression. I was thinking about how I would do glass or the greenhouse outsides. I couldn't really think of anything that would look like glass except ice, but the ice stuff just, it just didn't seem right to me. But you'll see me try it out later, <laughs> spoiler alert. Um, so I wanted it to look old because in my head from the book it definitely would be a very overgrown, very old kind of greenhouse and in the films too, as you saw in the original picture that I showed earlier, it was very overgrown, kind of like yellowing. So I decided to go for these really nice designs. I will link the designs down below. It's actually the same designer as uh, a lot of the things I use for the Hogwarts build I did. Links for that video down below as well. Ah, here's the ice. I didn't hate how it looked, it just didn't fit as well to me as the stalls did. Especially because the stalls, you could put things inside them too. I just really liked the fact that these vines almost look like they're alive. <laughs> to me anyway. Like the venomous tentacular. The one that... tentacular? <laughs> Something like that. Um, which uh, Madame Sprout... who does she warn about it? Is it Lockhart? Because it's teething, I remember in one of the books. As I said before, this is a stream, so if you uh, watch it, you can hear a lot more of my chaotic thought process. <laughs> but I really wanted to add a tropical tree in it somewhere because I felt that it was more like, oh, some tropical, magical plant. <laughs> but um, in the end, I didn't really like how it had snow inside. I feel like if it was spring, the green would have worked much better. But yeah, I end up not using it here, but I use it later in the build. And I left little gaps between some of these stalls so that I could put some plants between them so that it just added again to the kind of like overgrown look. I 
we got Doby just hanging out with us here. What are you doing, Doby? I always find whenever I'm doing builds, that's where my villages always like to be. Always, especially when I'm terraforming. <laughs> I really was excited about using the barrel. I love barrels. <laughs> they look so good in every kind of uh, like different theme. Barrels just look great. They're so versatile. I tried this combination a bunch of times, um, the floating biotope planter and the turkey day garden stand um, in white. I really like how it looks, but it looked far too fancy to fit in with the herbology area. So I think I'm definitely gonna use it later, maybe at like Malfoy Manor or somewhere more grand or if I do the Ministry of Magic, or I'm not sure where else. Oh, Privet Drive, somewhere like that. sure whether to use a bunch of different colors of the mandrake plant but in the end I decided to go for a couple of different colors for variety but mainly sticking to white just because I liked how uniform it looked. Seeing this many plants just reminds me how I have zero plants in my <laughs> apartment. I love plants, but there's very uh, little light exposure in this apartment, so I'm not sure what I could grow here. I'm no plant expert myself. I've always loved gardening with my family, like my grandparents and my parents, um, but I didn't really learn any skills per se, <laughs> just helped out with the digging and whatever but that was not indoor plants but outdoor plants <laughs> in my garden does anyone have any recommendations for any easy plants to take care of um, that would do well not in much light and quite changing like it would be very hot and humid in summer and rather chilly in winter let me know in the comments if you have any advice Also, how do you pronounce the name of the plant I'm using as the mantrake I've put off saying it in this video for that very reason? And during the stream, I really couldn't pronounce it either. either. Look at that, I can't even say either. Is it Antherium? Antherium. Antherium? <laughs> Maybe? <laughs> Who knows? <laughs> I certainly don't.
I just love these um, bamboo shoot lamps. They're just so, so pretty. Um, I got the DIY off Nukazon because I didn't play in spring last year. So I got this recipe from a Nukazon um, adventure a long time ago because they're just so pretty. <laughs> I wonder what the reason is for humans liking being around so many plants. I assume it's because it goes back to our natural instincts, but um, being around green makes me feel so calm and just houseplants are just so lovely to look at. Just, I can't really explain the feeling. It's just, it's not even that I feel at nature because it's clearly not nature when it's in a pot like it's not wild but it just feels I don't know is it aesthetically pleasing I'm not sure what do you guys think So I've put a bunch of the ironwood chairs down for where all the students would be sitting to do all of these lovely classes. But I really wanted to make it full of plants, so I've really scattered a bunch of plants everywhere. <laughs> And I've really stuck to yellow lighting, as you can tell, with candles and the bamboo shoot lamps. And maybe I use a mushroom later, I can't remember. <laughs> I really like the yellow mushroom, it's really pretty. But I couldn't find a place for it in the central place. I think I put it to the side later on. And at the back, you've got the microscope. Although it's... Uh, magic rather than scientific i felt that if madam sprout sorry <laughs> if professor sprout wanted to like look into the properties of the man etc etc et that she'd have a place to do it just there and her research books are all around So this is where we got to in the stream and here's where I continue on my own to finish it all off. So in this part I will do some adjustments to the insides and also decorate the outsides which are equally as important in my opinion. So I knew I wanted to add some greenery around the edge, like some trees and some bushes. And I really wanted it to try and fit in with the plants around here as well. There's trees that go into the forbidden forest. But at the same time, I don't mind that it's its own separate section. I want each section to be distinct by either colors or theming. Also, if you're wondering what I'm going to put behind there, I've reserved a space for the Owlery. So look forward to that video at some point in the future. <laughs> so 
So I start off by decorating this left hand side at the front and I'm like, hmm, what kind of tree should I use? So I try one of each and as I said inside I wanted to have a palm tree um, included because it's such a interesting and tropical tree that it stands out that it's a something that's being cultivated here and I feel like it works really well on the outside and it also doesn't clip as much through um, the stall just there uh, and I want this area to be a lot more colorful than the rest of the Harry Potter island has been so far because again it's like interesting and magical plants so I want it to look magical and interesting <laughs> Also, as you can probably tell, I'm kind of obsessed with these red camellia plants. I think that's how you pronounce it, not 100%. They just look so pretty. I really, really love the flowers. So I think my DA will have to be set during the time that they're flowering, definitely. <laughs> and I just really love the complementing colors of the lovely kind of like yellowy greens and the orangey red of the camellia as well. At this point, I knew I really liked the left hand side already with the bonsai and the lamp. Um, so I was trying to find something that would balance that in both um, color and kind of theming because it's the first thing you see as you come in. So I tried with the fish and tarantula, um, but I felt that the fish was just a bit uh, out of place. So I tried with this froggy model. Um, I wanted to make sure he was facing the right way. So we have sort of um, animal life here in the herbology area. So we have fauna as well as flora. I think the only thing that I felt I wanted more of for this build was like pot plants, just just pots. I also would have liked um, like some sort of broomstick or some sort of like cleaning stuff that would have made it just look like it was more lived in, more worked in, I don't know, <laughs> taught in. Um, but yeah, I would have loved some more pots. The bonsai shelf you can see to the left there looks lovely. I love the all those little plants on there um, and also the start behind as well as a cute little pot but I would have liked some empty pots and as far as I know <laughs> there isn't any sort of um, pot plantish kind of things in this game. Oh, and here I get to use my first ever rescue service because I forgot to bring a ladder with me because I was too filled up with other things. I mean, I guess it wasn't 100% necessary, but <laughs> it was a fun experience nonetheless.
so finally I just want to finish off the uh, outside area of the herbology department because I feel like it's not all in the greenhouses so there's some around outside as well so I just want to add a couple of things at the back so that it feels like a more full experience and I think it just and I think adding height in the trees behind as well really adds to the entire build itself. So we've got some different trees out the back. We've got some running water for where you can fill up your watering can and all that kind of nice stuff. So I decide that instead of a hardwood tree, I'll put an orange tree just to add some nice color to it again with the green and the orange. Um, and also as a kind of nod to the dirigible plums in Harry Potter, which are dirigible means like inflated, I think. <laughs> so they're kind of inflated plums so I felt that this was the best representation of them because I'm fairly sure they are orange in the movies even though plums are usually <laughs> like a dark purple but who knows there's no plums in this game anyway so <laughs> and I felt that this fit the theming the best I mean, technically this pathing bit is uh, part of the Owlery, but since I finished it in this build, I just thought I'd show you guys a kind of sneak peek of the next area. And who doesn't love watching path laying, right? <laughs> oh dear. Now is the final few little tweaks, especially this really cute little soil bag cushion design. I really, really love it. And here we have it, the final build. I hope you guys like it because I really, really like it. Um, it looks quite different from uh, the film itself, but I feel like we have a lot of um, different things represented in so many different parts of it and as I said, I just it gives me serotonin to be surrounded by pot plants. I can't tell you why it just it just does Excuse me just coming in here. Just uh, oh <laughs> Overshot it a little bit. Let's, let's just go back. Okay. There we are <laughs> So that's the end of the video. If you guys enjoy the video hit that like button and if you want to see more content like this, or island tours, or villager hunts, hit that subscribe button. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye!